welcome to Beyond the Studio Pilates, my name is Hannah and today I'm going to take you through a full body workout with a resistance band. Now today I'm going to be using two B Elite loop bands, so I've got a, um, uh, a kind of lower resistance and a more medium to high resistance band but you could also use an inner tube or um, a pair of really thick tights would also work for some of the exercise. It's going to do a little bit of warm up first and then we'll get on with our resistance band training. So first of all we're just going to come to standing making sure our feet are underneath its pelvis tilted so that tailbone is pointing down towards the ground, restacking those vertebrae. So really think about growing towards the ceiling, creating space at your waist, space at your neck. Keeping your ribs in line with your hips, engaging your core by pulling your belly button towards your spine and pulling up that pelvic floor as well. So we're scooping up holding our trunk nice and stable. I'm going to just start with some shoulder rolls just to warm up those shoulders and then taking them in the other direction. And then we're going to move that into an elbow roll. And then taking that in the other direction. And then we're going to bring those fingers together, bring your arms above your head, check in with that rib to hip connection. So make sure you haven't jutted those ribs forward and then we're just mobilising through those shoulders, just giving them a nice little warm up, feeling that warm up through your upper back as well and taking it in the other direction. And then we're going to make that a little bit bigger. So we're going to start to create a bigger circle. And then taking it in the other direction. And then bringing yourself back to the middle, stretching those arms to the ceiling, bringing them down by your side. Going on to warm up our legs now. So we're going to just do a little bit of balance work. So if you have a prey block, you're very welcome to use it. If not, you could just stand on the floor. If you know that your balance is a little bit iffy, make sure you've got hold of something solid. Then you're going to place your left foot on the block, core engaged, right leg comes out in front of you. And we're just going to start with a semicircle. So we're just opening up through that hip joint, building strength in that supporting leg. So it's really good to work your legs and your arms as individuals because it helps you to know if there's any muscle imbalance there. Um, it's really good to work through your ankle when you're not wearing shoes as well because we tend to always support our feet and we don't really look after them and make them work very hard particularly when we're always wearing trainers. So by doing some work with no socks and shoes on you kind of create a little bit more awareness of what's going on in your feet. And then bringing that leg to the side, we're going to hold it there, core engagement. We're just going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. So keep standing tall, core engaged. So you're pulling your belly button towards your spine, ribs down towards your hips. Okay, now we're going to take it out to the side. So we're going to come up and out to the middle and release. Up, out, to the middle, and release three more like this. Keep standing tall. Final one. Then you're going to gently step off to the right hand side, give those ankles a little walk out. If you were standing on a block, having a little look at your footprint, so what you're trying to do is make a nice even heel and toe. So were you pushing all your weight to the back of your foot or to the front of your foot? This is just giving you a nice little guide to how you are balancing. So right foot is staying still this time. So thinking about that tripod of support, making sure your weight stays even. And then starting with your semicircle. So we're just opening up, warming up through that hip. Still standing tall, think core engaged, 
making space at your neck, space at your waist. Two more like this. And final one. And bringing that leg back to the side and we're going to start with our raises. So we're just gently raising and lowering. Final two. And you stretch through those fingers. Feel the energy through those fingers. Now we're going out to the side. So up and out. Try not to turn through your body. Try and keep your body facing forward. Final three here. Standing tall. Two. <laughs> and final one. And then gently coming down to the floor, giving those ankles a little walk out. Having another look at your footprint, so making a nice even heel and toe, popping your block somewhere where it's out of the way. So, next, grabbing hold of a band. You're going to stand in your band. Feet are just wider than hip distance apart, holding onto your band, and we're just going to do a gentle side bend. Core engage, standing tall. Make sure those ribs are in line with your hips, and then we're going to lean to one side and come back to the center. Lean to the other side. Come back to the center. So you can decide how much resistance you want behind that hand. So you can take in the band a little bit if you need to, or give yourself a little bit more band if you need to as well. Okay, if careful you're not locking out your knees. Okay, so you two more to each side. And final one to each side. And then coming back to standing from here, we're going to do a little side step. So I'm going to make my way over here. So starting on the right hand side, we're going to walk to the left. So make sure you've got some room they're taking in the band, so again, you pick the resistance, which is what's so great about resistance bands, you can kind of decide how hard you want to work. And coming into a high squat position, bringing your feet together, you're going to push out into the band, gently release off. So don't let the band ping you back, make sure that you're controlling that band as you walk across doing your little crab walk. So we're going out, bring the other foot to it out, bring the other foot to it. Final little step here, and then back in the other direction. And just a little crab walk, controlling both legs, so don't be snapped into position. Keep that core engaged, trunk staying nice and stable. And we're just walking from one side of the room to the other and you can pick how many steps you want to do. You could do a couple more if you want to, or a couple less if you need to. I'm going to do one more. So we're coming across the room. And this is probably one of the ones where if you've got a thicker band, um, although that might mean it's more resistance, you'll probably find it more comfortable on the side of your foot. Final time we're going across and then we're going to stay there. Okay, so from here, going to still be standing in your band and we're going to do a bent over row. So core engage, going to take your pelvis backwards, bring your chest forward. Keep those ribs in line with your hips, so make sure you haven't tilted your um, tailbone up. Think about bringing your pelvis underneath your core engage from here you're going to take the band in so you've got some band to play with and then you just bring that up and gently release so you can adjust the resistance as you're going 
make sure you're breathing. Think about inhaling as you bring that band up, exhaling as you let it release off. Keep those ribs in line with your hips, core engaged. Elbows are just tracking the side of your body, so make sure you're not taking your elbows out to the side. Think about them coming to your sides of your body. Also check in with your shoulders. Make sure they're not up, staying high to your ears, keep them down. Think shoulder blades melting down your back. We're going to do four more here. Three, two, and final one. And then just gently releasing that band off. We're going to go on to a shoulder press. So you're going to bring the band up behind you. So holding on to the band. Again, you can pick the resistance. You're going to bring your arms into the air. Check in with that rib to hip connection. So make sure you haven't jutted your ribs forward. Remember, keep the bottom of your ribs in line with the top of your hips. From here, we're going to pull the band out to the sides and then gently release off. So you're pulling down, feeling that resistance, and then slowly bringing your arms back to fully extended. So you're holding that resistance. Don't let it ping you back to the top. Really control the move on the up and the down. Remember, you control the amount of resistance. So if you need to make it easier, just give yourself more band to play with. If you need to make it harder, you can take some band in. So this is one that works quite well with a cut up inner tube. Final three here. Just bringing your elbows down so they're in line with your shoulders, or maybe slightly lower. Final two. And final one. And then releasing that band off. And I'm going to change now to a harder resistance band. So I'm going to go for a medium band for my squat. If you've got different bands, you could also change if you want to, or you can stick with the band that you have and just take the resistance in a little bit. So just take some band in. So I'm going to stand in the band. Feet are hip distance um, or slightly wider. Core engaged, I'm going to come down into my low squat position. I'm going to bring my arms up near my shoulders, or my hands near my shoulders. Band is in my hand and then I'm clasping onto the band, core engaged. From here, I'm going to push myself back up, bring my pelvis back into a line. So it's a bit like a deadlift type action. So we're coming up, bring that pelvis back underneath you. So core on, gently down, and then more explosively back up, holding there. Check in with that tripod of support and so make sure that your feet are equal weighted from the front to the back. You're not pushing into your heels to push you up. You're holding that weight across your whole foot. So this is good for building strength and endurance in those legs and glutes. I want you to think about inhaling as you go down and then exhaling to push yourself back to the seat. We're going to do five more. You can always reduce the resistance at any point if you need to. And it's really good to add in resistance training to your running or cycling program because it's just going to help you to learn more about how your body is balanced. You can look at muscle imbalance and it's going to help to build stronger bodies all around. So we're not just working those cycling muscles or those running muscles, we're working our body as a whole in this program. Final two. And slowly bringing that resistance off, stepping your feet out of the band, give those legs a little wiggle if they need it. I'm going to just do a nice quad stretch now standing and this is just to show you really what you can do so I would suggest that when you do resistance training you add in some basic stretches as well just to give you that extra little bit out of your workout 
Also, we're all terrible at stretching. So this just gives you a good excuse to really spend some time doing some stretches. So holding onto something solid, you're going to bring your left foot up. Standing tall, so make sure you don't bring your body forward. You're going to just let that knee move backwards. Feel that stretch in the front of your quad, holding it there. And bringing that leg down, swapping to the other side, so holding on, bringing that foot up, and then just gently taking it back. So we're holding this for 30 seconds today. You could always hold it and do it a couple more times. If you're really feeling like you are tight in your quads, this would be a good exercise to do a couple of times. So maybe do another two or three of those on each leg. We're going to roll down to the mat. So this is a lovely mobility exercise for your spine. So you're bringing yourself to standing nice and tall. So feet are back underneath you, pelvis tilted so that tailbone is down at the floor, taking an inhale at the top. And you're going to exhale, tuck your chin, lead with the crown of your head, slowly with control, rolling yourself down to the mat. When you get closer to the floor, you're going to bend your knees and then bring yourself down so that we're on to the floor. So next we're going to go on to one of my favourite um, glute exercises, which is glute press. I'm going to use the medium to light band for this one. You could also use um, an inner tube for this as well, but make sure you've cut it and got rid of the valve so that you're not having the valve under your hand or your feet. So we're going to place the band around one foot. Then you're going to come into your four point kneeling position. So it's really important that you make a good box before you start. You also need room behind you for that leg to extend out. So wrist is under your shoulder, knee is under your hip, tilting that pelvis so your tailbone points away. Next, thinking about your neck. So I want you to think about having a nice long neck, keeping your eye line down at the floor. Core engaged, so drawing that belly button towards your spine, ribs towards your hips. And then you're just going to take hold of the band in each hand. So this is why I'm using the um, lighter resistance band for this one. Because you bring it across both hands, you make it a lot tighter, and these loops um, aren't massive. So you kind of need a little bit more to play with. You can also use a long resistance band for this, so one that isn't a loop, and they work really well because you can just hold the flat ends under both hands. So from here, we're then going to just gently hover that knee off the floor, core engaged, and you're going to push your leg backwards, extending that leg out. Careful you don't hip hitch, so you're not lifting that hip, and then we're going to slowly bring that leg back to the middle holding here exhale push out inhale hold exhale gently releasing back to the middle hold in the middle inhale exhale push out hold it there inhale exhale gently let it come back to the center we've got four more to go, you're doing really well. Core on. Pushing out on the exhale. Final two. Check in with your eye line. Make sure you're still keeping your head looking down at the floor. Keep that hip level with the other hip so make sure you're not hip pitching as you take that leg back final one on this side and then just bringing the band off your foot swapping the band to the other foot i'm going to do the other side so again bringing that band underneath 
your hands core engaged, check in with your position. Now, if your knees don't like being knelt on, you could always put a cushion under that knee that's staying still. Um, if your wrists don't like being um, on the floor like that, you could also make a fist as well. So we're holding it here, core engaged, lifting, and then exhale, push. Keep those hips next to each other. So imagine you've got a spirit level on top of your pelvis. Keep the bubble in the middle. Make sure you're keeping the weight even between the three points that are still on the floor. Don't just let the weight move into your other leg. Keep that core engaged, think belly button to spine. So your core's really helping to stabilize you here. And we've got four more to go. Core on, inhale, exhale, push. time pushing that band out and then gently releasing it back in coming off your hands and knees bringing that band off your foot and we're going to do a really delicious glute stretch now so you're coming into your box position you need some room behind you to move you're going to take your left leg out behind you bring it round to the right hand side of your body and then just gently slide yourself back so you're sitting down and stretching out through that glute holding it there for me i'm going to hold it here for 30 seconds and then see if we can just develop it slightly So you can just develop it slightly, just increase that stretch. And tucking those back toes, bring yourself back up. And we're going to the other side. So right leg out behind you, slide it to the right hand side of your body and gently bring yourself back, holding it there. Increase that stretch just a little. And tucking those back toes, bring yourself back to sitting. I'm just going to do a really nice back stretch next. So you're going to bring both feet out so they're in front of you, sitting up nice and tall. You're going to bring your left palm under your left knee, move your right shoulder away, bring that right arm up and over, stretching out through your QL, so lower back stretch. Other side, so right palm under that right knee, move your left shoulder away, left arm comes up and over. And then coming back up. Thanks for 
for joining my resistance band full body workout today. I hope you found it really beneficial. This was just a taster of what you can do with resistance bands. If you enjoyed this, head over to Beyond Studio Pilates on Instagram and YouTube, and also check out my website for resistance band masterclasses, which I do every other month, um, that can take you through other exercises that could be really good for you to put into your training, whether you're a swimmer, a cyclist, or a runner. Have an awesome day. Thank you.